Hello guys and welcome in one of Zoomavoid's most recent videos of Hermitcraft. He came up, he had a little bit of a problem trying to send Ender Pearls along. He didn't have much time to figure it out, so uh, at the end he said, uh, if anybody else came up with ideas, I'm sure he probably could have come up with this himself. But if you notice there, the cart, the uh, chest cart went off and went into this hole here, and I. If you didn't notice, stuck right here. And we can just send ourselves back like that. And yeah, that's uh, pretty it's pretty easy. Uh it doesn't use too much redstone, so let's get right into the little bit of a tutorial here. I have the area set up, and in this chest here are I think all the materials. If anything's wrong, we'll find out while we're doing this. Um so if you see here we got Sticky piston, three sticky pistons, one repeater, four redstone, a half slab, two red, uh, three redstone torches, rail, power, power, eh, powered rail, however much you need, building blocks, totally forgot about string, and two tripwire hooks, <laughs> and a button actually I also forgot, so let's just throw those up there and we can grab a button okay so we can just get right into this first you want to set your tripwire hooks right there um, you'll notice we have a 4x4 four four area with our pitfall back here for the uh, chest minecart chest to fall back into uh, it's too it's a too deep drop from the back of here of the 4x4 four four, and then your track just goes all that way Put a redstone torch on the back, uh, up of the 4x4 four four square on the back of the, uh, on the side of the block with the tripwire hook. Redstone um, dust underneath that, block beside that. You want to put a repeater, default ticks right beside that. Uh, then you're going to have your, on out of that block, you put a torch, redstone torch, two sticky pistons on the side of the block and the side of the torch. Um, a block in front of the back sticky piston, and right there, you have the main mechanic done. So for that, so that's basically all that is. Uh, your button is gonna go here. You're gonna put a. Oops. <laughs> huh. Didn't know. Huh. I'm not even sure what's causing that. Wait, is that normal? I'm getting sidetracked here, guys. This is the kind of person I am. Oh, it is normal. Okay. <laughs> I don't really work with... I work with redstone, know what I mean. I just don't pay attention that much to what I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best way for me to describe it. So you, um, so on this block with a button, torch on top, block on top of that, half slab above that, cause, so you, you don't cause a bud switch right there. So you can put a half slab, side of that half slab, put two blocks, uh, make an L shape. Bottom of that block, put a downwards facing sticky piston, three pieces of redstone like that, it'll go down. And there you go. Really simple. Uh, that's basically all this stuff, so we'll just get rid of that. Get out of this this and some blocks I guess <laughs> so uh, oh this guy's one this trench is one far back sorry about that guys um so you put a power rail with the outward facing sticky piston and then forgot one other thing the detector rail keep that in mind guys need one detector rail and then just simply count seven four, three, two, one, and throw down a powered rail every seven or so blocks. I'm just, I'm not even counting right there. So if that's off, I don't even know. I think it's off by one. Mm, it is. I care. I care. <laughs> I lied. I care. So there you go. That's basically, I think that's it. So if we test this out, we can... Grab ourselves a minecart, 
and my card chest. Send the mine card chest across. Uh, there's actually two things missing. Put two rails down there and then make sure this thing is actually too deep. <laughs> So that it does actually fall in. In fact, I think it might actually have to have a surrounding on it. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Just put a nice little surrounding on it just in case so it doesn't go up. So there's the just the minecart. And you'll see that we can put as many as we want in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> you'll see that they just sequence in there. Now the only problem with this is if you get too many of them in there, say, I, I remember seeing it happen around 13, but it should happen sooner. You can hear that noise, it's because they're bouncing off each other at that point, so you just have to watch for, out for that. Other than that though, they just go in like that, and then if I were to ride the rail, you'll see, I stop, and then I can ride it out. And so guys, thank you guys for, watch you guys for watching, I hope this helps to zoom in anyone else who wants to do something similar. Goodbye.